uh, vegetal encounters slow residency with the Balkan, which is one of a number of public art initiatives happening here on the UBC campus. Um, fireweed field transforms the Balkans lawns into a fireweed meadow, encouraging increased biodiversity through gradual succession as a metaphor for the resurgence of life after a crisis. Uh, this installation acknowledges the global climate emergency. It plants the initial seeds for change and generates discussion, um, creative experimentation and new biodiversity research while also providing really significant learning opportunities for our students. Um, <clears throat> the project has numerous collaborators, partners and contributors. And like many of Holly's projects, a subject or a gesture, in this case, the fireweed meadow brings together people from a wide range of disciplines who offer different perspectives about some of the most important issues of our time. Um, fireweed fields has a, a few different components, including the planting of a fireweed meadow at the Belkin, the installation of a boardwalk inspired by the rhizomatic root structure of fireweed, a summer intensive curated and led by me and uh, visual arts professor Marina Roy uh, that brings together artists and scientists to discuss climate change. And forecast a poetic series of reflective vinyl texts on windows at both the Belkin and Sir's building. There will also be a curated film and video series for the Belkin's new outdoor screen and video documentation of the seasonal phases of the meadow on the lobby screen at Sir's. Not to mention an extensive series of activities and programs in both locations. So adjacent programming uh, in including discussions, workshops, research, and fieldwork studies will be developed in collaboration with the Sustainability Initiative, Botanical Gardens, Beatty Biodiversity Museum, Musqueam Garden, Sierra Club BC, and UBC Climate Hub. The meadow will be used as a site of research to record the impact of the plantings in relation to campus biodiversity. From conversations with project collaborators and partners in the in relation to UBC Public Realm Plan and Public Art Strategy, Holly developed the these uh, guidelines, assessment guidelines to measure the field success. Those were included in the document, so I won't go through them all here. Egan Davis, the principal instructor of the Botanical Gardens Horticulture Training Program, will oversee construction of the meadow and its ongoing maintenance over the course of the first three years with his students. The site will be prepared and planted with native herbaceous plants, including fireweed, lupins, yarrow, and Idaho fescue. The approach to planting and maintenance will follow the ecological model for planting developed by Egan Davis and inspired by British landscape architect, James Hitchmill. This approach requires maintenance that supports natural succession over time. We've been guided by our uh, planning um, through two precedents that exist on campus, uh, the Beattie Biodiversity Meadow, um, which you can see to your left. And I should point out that this photograph was taken in winter. So this is when the meadow is mo mowed. Um, and then to the right, uh, the event field at the Botanical Gardens. And this is sort of at its peak in the summer. Sorry, it's not letting me go. One sec, there we go. <laughs> uh, the first year will require maintenance and intensive monitoring, uh, especially as the seed pods begin to form. Subsequent years may require less maintenance, but will still need to be monitored very closely. In keeping with the Belkin's goals of activating outdoor spaces, I will be consistently engaged with the meadow throughout the seasons and responding to the changing conditions through gentle interventions. At the end of year three and in consultation with campus off landscape staff, the Belkin Art Gallery will assess the success of the meadow in relation to criteria and resources to determine if the site should be restored to their previous conditions continue to manage and maintain their meadow-like conditions or proceed with the next stage of succession to gradually transition to a landscape of native shrubs and other herb herbaceous plants. So maybe at this point, um, we can open it up to the floor for questions. Um, 
Thanks, everybody. Um, 